स्टोरी अ लेसन बाय बाल गणेश नितिन संजय एंड अमोल आर थ्री बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स द वे देयर फ्रेंडशिप वाज फेमस अक्रॉस द विलेज देयर नॉटीनेस वाज आल्सो फेमस दे वर सो नॉटी दैट ऑल द पीपल वर एब्सोल्युटली फेड अप ऑफ देम ब्रदर्स वी नीड टू डू समथिंग सो दैट वी कैन हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फन बट व्हाट शैल वी डू लिसन नितिन वी डू नॉट नीड एनी प्लान टू डू एनीथिंग We do whatever we feel like doing. We just have to enjoy. But we need to find someone suitable also who we can trouble. Oh, what is the big deal in that? See, there is a man who has kept his cycle under the tree and is going somewhere. Let's go and take out the valves from his cycle. All the students of the school were also fed up of them. Amol, Sanjay and Nitin, all three of them hide behind a tree. The man goes far away in the farms. After he goes, three of them Go near the cycle and take out the valves of the cycle, and they hide behind the tree. After a while, the farmer comes near his cycle. He has a huge sack on his shoulders. Hey, what is this? Someone has already punctured my cycle tires. Now I will have to carry this heavy sack on my back itself. I am sure this mischief is definitely done by those naughty kids who have been harassing all the villagers. The farmer had to carry the heavy sack all the way home, and he was drenched in sweat. Seeing this, Amol, Nitin, and Sanjay are very happy. It's great that he got his punishment. He had complained about us at our house when we had broken the mirrors of his car. This was the same farmer. Now he has got his punishment. After a few days. The villagers accumulated near the village well. Everyone was looking inside the well. Hey Sanjay, why is everyone over there looking inside the well? Actually, I cut the rope of the bucket that was inside the well. Now everyone is troubled as they want to take out water. Now just see what Nitin and I do next. Oh, villagers, please listen. There is a ghost inside this well. Yesterday I saw that the bucket was flying in mid air. Slowly slowly the rope got cut and the bucket fell inside the well. Sometimes it floats on top of the water and sometimes it is under the water. I saw it with my very own eyes. Upon hearing Nathan's words, all the villagers run away. They say that someone has done magic on our well. Maybe these kids are telling the truth. Everybody runs away from there, and just like this, these three naughty kids kept troubling the villagers every other day. One day, little Ganesha saw them. Ganesha thinks to himself, If these three are not stopped immediately, then they will land up doing something more mischievous than this. Some weak and troubled person might get harassed due to their mischief. It will be a disaster. Hence it is important to teach them a lesson for sure. Little Ganesha takes the shape of a little boy. He gives himself the name Viraj and goes to the three naughty boys. Listen friends, I also love to do mischief just like the three of you. But what is your name? My name is Viraj. But how do we believe that you like to be naughty? Figure out a plan in your mind. Trouble someone badly and prove it to us. Only then we will include you in our group. Understand? Oh, that is a very simple task for me. Tell me, what do I have to do? Who do I have to trouble? That you have to tell us. What is there to say, friends? I will show it to you. Come with me. Little Ganesha whistles. He uses his power and makes a bullock cart with heavy grain sacks in it. But the three friends do not notice it. He also makes a farmer appear. Viraj goes and removes the nail from the wheel and comes back and stands with the other three friends. Now see, friends, how the bullock cart will topple over and fall down with a thud, and the farmer he will also fall in the mud. In no time, the cart gets stuck in the bullock cart. The farmer hauls the cart with force, but the wheel gets stuck in the puddle. All the sacks fall down, and the farmer also falls in the mud. The farmer's face is smeared in mud. He holds his head in despair and sits in disbelief. All the three kids and Viraj start laughing. Good that I took the shape of the farmer myself. 
If instead of him, it was someone else, he would have gone through such a loss. Now I have to teach them a lesson. So friends, how did you like my mischief? Viraj, you are even better than us. Brother, we enjoyed a lot today. You are now included in our group from now. From today onwards, you are our leader. And now whatever you say, we will follow lead. Little Ganesha purposely does a few tricks and mischiefs so that they start believing in Viraj who is actually Little Ganesha. One day, Little Ganesha makes a plan and tells the other three friends. Listen friends, the road outside the village that leads to the jungle, we will go there today and we will tell the people who are passing from there to not to use that road as wolves are there on that road. Amol, Sanjay and Nitin agree to Viraj's plan and they stand on the road to the jungle. Listen Viraj my friend, we cannot keep standing here because the entire village knows that we are very naughty. No one will believe a word we say. So you should stand here instead of us. No one recognizes you at all and the villagers will easily believe whatever you say. Okay friends, no problem. You three hide somewhere and just enjoy the show. Just wait and watch how I make a fool of all the villagers. The three friends hide behind a tree. Viraj starts telling the passerbys not to use the road as wolves roam on these roads. Everyone leave their work and go back to the village. Seeing this, the three friends feel very happy. After some time, the three come out of hiding and tell Viraj. Dear Viraj, I am very hungry. It would be great if you could arrange some food. We have made all the villagers run away. Oh, is that so? Let's do one thing. Let's go towards the jungle. There are a lot of fruit trees in the jungle. We will be able to eat fruits at our heart's content and roam in the jungle. What do you have to say, friends? Yes, yes, he is right. Today, all of us will go inside the jungle and we will eat some fruits there. We will have a lot of fun. Today, we have bunked our school too. We will roam around here and there and have a lot of fun. All the four friends walk towards the jungle and their Viraj, meaning little Ganesha, prepares to scare the three friends. Nitin speaks first. My dear friends, please search for something to eat. I will go for a swim in this pond for some time. It has been long since I took a dip in the water. Come soon. Amol climbs up a tree to pluck mangoes. Sanjay starts chasing a rabbit and Viraj gets a good chance over here. Nitin gets chased by a huge crocodile in the river in which Nitin was swimming. Nitin starts screaming loudly. Viraj, help me please! Viraj, help me please, Viraj! The tree on which Amol was sitting suddenly starts growing taller. Slowly, slowly, it gets taller and taller and starts shooting in the sky. Oh, Viraj, why are you appearing so small to me? I am not appearing small. This tree is automatically growing taller. Maybe there is some ghost and spirit in this place. In a while, Sanjay comes running from the other direction. But Viraj is nowhere to be seen. All three of them start screaming. Sanjay, get me down. I have come up too far. Someone, someone save me from this crocodile. It is following me. If I save both of you now, who will save me from the ghost? There is a ghost following me. Viraj disappears and speaks in the tone of a ghost. I am Bhutnath. Good that you have fallen into my trap. I have not got a good prey since a very long time. Now I will eat you all up. I have already eaten up your friend Viraj. <laughs> all the three friends get really scared and all of them start sweating profusely. Oh no, no Bhutnath! Please do not eat us. Otherwise, our parents will get very worried about us. They will start looking for us. Please don't kill us. We are very scared. Bhutnath, we will do whatever you tell us to do. Please forgive us. Okay, my prey for today is complete. I have eaten up your friend Viraj. But remember, if you all do any mischief henceforth, 
then I can come to your house as well. <laughs> no, we promise. We will not trouble anyone from today onwards. We won't disturb anyone. We will concentrate on our studies. After that day, Nitin, Amol, and Sanjay start feeling scared. The thought of having lost their friend Viraj keeps haunting them. From that day onwards, they stop all their mischievous ways and start behaving well like good kids. Seeing this, Ganesha feels very happy, and little Ganesha says in his mind, "If I had not taught them a lesson today, I don't know what they would have done." It was necessary for them to experience fear and so I had to do all of this. Now they will never do wrong things ever again. The moral of the story is that we should do the right things at the right age.